Family's had quite a run lately, hasn't it? First we lose Pa, then B.E., now Nash. We wouldn't bring a business at a time like this, but you said B.E. I, I haven't had a chance to go through those company papers yet. Do you need the brief right away? What's she doing? Uh. No, we can figure that out later. Yes, yeah, something like that isn't important on a day like today, is it? Baby, I do know how you feel. I know. I know you do. You have an ache that hurts so much. It's the worst when I wake up at night. I know. Because that's when you're really alone. And lying there in the dark, you hear Nash's voice and you want to go to him. But I can't. No. And you're afraid of the path ahead. You're afraid that going forward is going to hurt more than standing still. But, sweetheart, you you will come out on the other side. You have to. Mom, I'm not as strong as you are. No, that's not true. You are stronger. You are so much stronger. Jess, you need any more time? No. No, I'm ready. Let's do this. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who may believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Lord, let us welcome our brother Nash into your house. Thank you for that lovely tribute, Miss Roberts. I would like to extend a heartfelt welcome to all who have come here today. We are here to remember 
as to celebrate the life of Nash Brennan. To give thanks for that life, to commit his body to be buried, and to comfort one another in our grief. At this point, I'd like to invite anyone to share a story, a memory, or simply a kind word with us about Nash. When I first met Nash Brennan, I didn't like him. Not at all. I thought he was reckless, antagonistic, combative. And on top of that, he claimed to love my daughter. Now, what father wouldn't be terrified? But after a while, I found that these traits that I thought I hated, they had a different side. And in a certain situation, recklessness became fearlessness. And his readiness to take up arms, well, that just meant that Nash wasn't about to walk away from the woman he loved just because she had a disapproving daddy. I was proud to call him family. And I'm sorry I wasted time thinking that he could be anything less. And Nash saw Jesse through an illness that could have been fatal. But he never, ever stopped believing that his love could save her, that she would pull through. And she did. All it took for me to know that uh, Nash was an extraordinary guy was to take a look at Jesse. Never seen anyone so completely in love. And that's all any of us really want. It's, it's, there's nothing better than acting like two fools completely in love and not caring at all. There aren't a lot of people in this town who know how to take me as I am, warts and all, but Nash was one of them. And he had a big heart. And I feel really lucky that I got to know him well. Hey, not in the biblical sense. Maybe next life. husband, um, the father of my daughter, uh, and uh, I guess I just uh, want to say a few words about him and uh, why he's gone. If it wasn't for Nash, I wouldn't be here. When I was lost, he, uh, he was my guide. When everything that I was doing was either hurting myself or my family, he, uh, he healed me. He saved my life. If it weren't for Nash, um, I'd be dead. And I know that, like, I know the sun is going to rise tomorrow. I was on a path straight towards oblivion, and he found me. And wanted me and he took care of me and uh, and then he forgave me when I wasn't the woman that he fell in love with and the miracle of all miracles we fell in love a second time but his ability to forgive is what I really think brought us together and I thought about how that ability would have been tested because of what's brought us here today. And I thought about what Nash would do and how he would react if he were here, if, if 
He had to, he had to say something about someone that he loved and he lost. And I think I know what he would say. <laughs> <laughs>